Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to day 11. 11. If you don't know her, her name is... Bree. Hey, y'all. Say hi to Bree for me. Hey. So today, we are back. Day 11. We're talking about something important today, I think. Super important. Who are we talking about? The town of Bethlehem. How are we going to tell a story from the perspective of Bethlehem? We're going to tell it. All right. <laughs> well, here we go. Little okay. town of Bethlehem. Little town. It's like the song... Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how <laughs> how great thou art. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Anyways. Okay, good. Well, Thank let's you. take a look real quick at this picture. Yes. Do you see this? Yeah, it's so pretty. Okay, so Miss Bree, have you been to Israel? I've never been to Israel. Okay, well, let me tell you. I've never been to okay. Bethlehem, but I look at this picture and I see the hills and mm -hmm. I see the dirt roads. Mm -hmm. And even these styles of houses, this is actually what this looks like kind of today. Wow. I mean, people don't walk around on maybe like donkeys as much. They don't? I know. Crazy. Uh, crazy. Right? Mm. Okay, so what do you notice here? I know that there is a lot of quaint little houses. Quaint. Quaint. It's a big word. What does that, that mean? mean? Small. Small. It's a big word that means small? <laughs> what does quaint mean? It means like... I don't know. Like, you said it. Like humble, like quaint, like little. Anyways. I don't know. Look it up. Anyways. All right. To the story. Fine. Let's hear what Bethlehem has to tell us today. Let's hear. Welcome to Bethlehem. That's me. A really old town just a handful of miles away from Jerusalem. I've been around many generations. Some call me the city of David. Because King David was born here. And David lived more than a thousand years ago. Since then, more and more people have moved here. People enjoy coming to visit me, and, and I've mentioned numerous times in scripture. That's crazy. When you come, the first thing you'll see is a lot of big sloping hills. I've walked those hills. Man, they are sloping. Ooh. Man, they are big. I was sweating. You were sweating? Were you breathing heavy? So sucking wind. Uh, anytime I go upstairs, y'all. I'm actually located at the top of a hill myself. Once you get past all those hills, you'll see some of the buildings where people work and live. Most shelters around here are built out of stone. We don't get much rain, so the roofs are all flat. People can walk around on the top of the buildings and watch travelers as they approach. Can you imagine? It'd be so cool. I think I would be the person to sit up there with like a spit wad. <laughs> and if you walk by, just like, you know, would you be? Maybe. I maybe like a water gun. Psh, it's raining. I Boom. love it. We'd hope it's you never water. Know. Anyways, most of my people are very friendly and they're happy to have visitors, except for the Romans. Mm. Whenever a Roman soldier comes to visit, the people get really quiet and nervous. Everyone is afraid the Romans will punish them if they don't act respectfully and say nice things about Caesar. Mm. I remember before the Romans arrived, things were a lot more peaceful back then. Now everyone is coming and going thanks to a census, or a count of the people, that the Romans are taking. Imagine having to go and, nope, they're like counting all the people. It'd be crazy. Right. I'm the so Romans thankful for technology. Can I you know. imagine being like, all right, you're number 6,722. <laughs> Next. I'd want to be number 1 million. I think that'd be a cool number. Maybe? No? I Can you imagine having to wait to be counted up to a million? That's true. I've seen some people leave my walls. I've seen even more people come rushing in, looking for a place to stay. There have been lots of feet walking along my narrow dirt streets. I'm glad to have new people come visit me. I just wish they were happier to be here. Mm. Well, it's dark now that the sun is set and all the homes are lit from inside with oil lamps. Soon, everyone will be asleep. Mm. That sounds nice right now. A nap. Shh. Everyone except two weary travelers and their donkey. They arrived about an hour ago and they've been walking all around from building to building looking for a place to stay. I must have some room somewhere. Maybe an inn or a house or... Or. Or. Hmm. That's all we have. How would you feel if you had traveled all the way up those hills, all through the hot desert, and you get to this town of Bethlehem and there's nowhere for you to stay? I'd be terrible. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. 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 New word right there in the dictionary. I like it. it. Anyways, well... We're glad you're here for day 11. Who are we learning about tomorrow, Miss Bree? Tomorrow, we are learning about the innkeeper. Bum, 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 da, da, da. So, make sure you're here tomorrow for day 12. 25 days of Christmas. We'll see you then. See ya.